Hazrat Ikrima reports that Hazrat Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu said, The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recited aloud in the prayers in which he was commanded to do so. And he recited quietly in the prayers in which he was commanded to do so. And your Lord is not forgetful. Surah Al-Maryam verse 64 And verily there is a good example for you in the following of Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Surah Al-Ahzab verse 21 It is narrated by Hazrat Abdullah bin Saib radiallahu anhu the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recited chapter Al-Mu'minun in the morning prayer and when Hazrat Musa alayhi salam and Hazrat Harun alayhi salam or Hazrat Isa alayhi salam was mentioned he was overtaken by Kaf so he performed bowing and Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu recited 120 verses of chapter Al-Baqara in the first unit and one chapter from Mathani name given to particular collection of chapters in the second unit and Ahnaf recited chapter Al-Kahf in the first unit and chapter Yusuf or chapter Yunus in the second unit and he stated Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu recited both these chapters in the morning prayer and Hazrat ibn Masood radiallahu anhu recited 40 verses of chapter Al-Anfa'al and in the second unit he recited one chapter out of the Mufassal name given to the specific collection of the chapters. Hazrat Qatada radiallahu anhu said about it whosoever may recite one chapter in two units or repeat the same chapter in both units all these are included in Allah's book. Hazrat Anas radiallahu anhu said a man belonging to Ansar used to lead them in the prayer in Masjid Quba. Whenever he would commence to recite any chapter for them in the prayer, he would recite chapter Ikhlas before it and after completing it. He would recite another chapter with it and he would do so in every unit. His companions talked to him and said, You start with the chapter, then considering it insufficient, you recite any other chapter. You should either recite it or leave it and recite any other chapter. He said, I will not leave it. If you like that I should lead you in the prayer with it, I will do so. And if you dislike it, I will leave to lead you in the prayer. They considered him better than themselves and disliked to make any other person their Imam. When they came to the Prophet ﷺ and informed him of this event, he ﷺ said, O oh, so and so, what prevents you from conceding to the point of your companions and what is the reason that you recite this chapter in every unit? He thereupon submitted, I love this chapter. He wasallam said, Your love for it will admit you to paradise. Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number 774